I'm Michael Labadi. We are live at the 2019 Sales Enablement Society Conference. With me here is Greg Hanafy. Greg is the Associate Dean at the uh, Kellogg School of Management. He's our Executive MBA Director. Greg, nice to have you. Great to be here, Michael. Thanks for having me. One thing I will tell you that uh, is I find very uh, amusing for myself is that I should be in class today. <laughs> and uh, as we said earlier on one of our, of our recordings, um, Greg was kind enough to come out and speak at our event. The Sales Enablement Society focuses on really, really big topics on how to enable revenue, how to drive value for customers. But there's a really interesting topic that's going to be discussed this afternoon in a panel of sorts. Greg, tell us a, bit, a little bit about your, your, your discussion. So I'm one of the panelists this afternoon to talk about the future of work and how the future of work is going to impact uh, enablement, right? So uh, I think all of us as leaders and organizations need to think ahead and think about ourselves, but also our teams. What's going to happen 5, 10, 15 years from now? So uh, this afternoon, I'm going to tell people that in 2022, the World Economic Forum predicts that 75 million jobs are going to be lost. So think about that. But the good news is 133 million jobs are going to grow. So we'll talk a little bit about what those jobs are, where the growth is happening, where it's predicted to happen, uh, and more importantly, kind of delve into what are the skills and attributes that people should be focusing on now so they can ride that wave of growth into the future. So some things come to mind, certainly disruption. Right. Like, let's focus there for a second. Right. You said 75 million? 75 million jobs. Are lost. Worldwide, are lost. And then you're going to have some come online. Right. So we're going to have a phasing out of sorts. Some of that's natural attrition and such, but we're talking about job changing. Right. Jobs changing, new jobs coming on board. Right. Mm -hmm. And with all the buzzwords of AI and machine learning, um, of course, data scientists, um, uh, I, I'm not going to talk so much about that because I think those are very specialized jobs that are going to they're going to force the economy to change. The question is from a sales leader, sales enablement, sales person perspective, what do you have to know in order to succeed as all these jobs are changing? Interesting. Who are some of your panel mates? So, um, I brought uh, one of our Kellogg Executive MBA alums, uh, Damu McCoy. He's the Vice President of Talent Acquisition at Target. So, he's going to talk about this from a, a customer perspective. Um, and then we also have uh, the, um, Brad, uh, and I'm blanking on his last name right now, but um, uh, Brad's a VP and of I, sales. And I think the focus for, for the theme of this whole thing is not just future of work, but how do you actually address those things? Because we could talk topically. That's this right. Is, this is about what does it look like if you have to address this and, and right. actually put people on the ground to do it. So I think Damu's perspective will be really um, um, uh, important yeah. What kind of challenges, I mean, so you shared dinner so he, last night, what kind of things came up in your discussion? So, so for most organizations, uh, what they're thinking about is how do we hire the right people on the way in so that uh, certainly they need to have some learning agility because things will always change, but how do we hire the right people on the way in mm -hmm. so that they have the ability to adapt to this changing world? Uh, what skills are they bringing with them? Um, so from Damu's perspective, and I think anybody that, that uh, hires people or is in charge of talent acquisition, you want a certain kind of a person to help your organization to succeed in a, in a fast changing world. So, so that I, I think he's gonna bring the voice of the customer, right, uh, to the discussion. And um, it, we're also gonna do this in a, in a new way. Um, that people are going to walk up, sit on stage with us, and ask questions. Really? So that's so, the uh, so that's yeah. going to be the unveiling. I yeah. was uh, I was interested to see how this panel would work. Yeah. I understand you'll be positioned kind of like in a bullpen in the middle of the room. Yeah. So uh, I think we got this stage from Lady Gaga that she uses. <laughs> <in>, yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, so that's going to be really interesting. Um, I can't wait to to share some of the clips. Final thought here: um, What does enablement mean to you? Because you're you're touching on something important, which is. Future of work, future of jobs. Yeah. They have to be enabled. They so do. So in our world, the Sales Enablement Society, as the word sales comes in there, that's going to change. We heard that today from the keynotes from Forrester. Mm -hmm. We talk more about revenue. Um, but it's, it's about people. If you don't have people in the organization to drive and connect with customers, you won't. there won't be work. Right. So tell us about enablement from the perspective of... of, of well, you know, I... It wasn't a stretch, actually, uh, when I was thinking about this talk and coming here, uh, because we, when we look at the skills that are going to be needed to keep up with the future of work, 
Um, a lot of them are some of these right brain things that that uh, we talk about, but I think in enablement, you have to use almost all the time. So uh, collaboration, number one. Um, critical thinking, how do you put all, all these different inputs together from marketing and sales and operations? That's enablement, right? Um, also, um, I, I think creativity, right? So uh, maybe a less focused product management world and a more focused creative, collaborative environment of joint selling um, in order to satisfy the customer needs. And I think, I think the other thing that I think about with enablement um, that was talked about this morning by Forrester was the customer journey, really understanding the customer journey. Critically important. And um, understanding the pain points along that journey and solving them as a team. Um, to me, that's, that, that's what enablement really is. And I think at the center you had this mindset shift. It's not a tool. Yeah. It's a behavior and a tool, you know, together. You That's know, right. Collaboration. Greg, yeah. thank you so much. I'm really looking forward. What time? Are, what time is your? Um, one o'clock. One o'clock. Yeah. Excellent. Well, you heard it here live. I'm with uh, with our associate dean, Greg Hanafi, from the Executive Kellogg uh, MBA program at Northwestern. Thank you so much for, uh, for my pleasure, for Michael. Your your interest in coming here. I'm Michael Labati. This is the 2019 Sales Enablement Society Conference. We'll be back. <laughs>